man who makes you despair of the entire sex. Yours, I believe. Oh, Mr. Wickham, how perfect you are. I picked up my handkerchief too. Did you drop yours on purpose, Lizzie? Mr. Wickham's a lieutenant. An enchanted lieutenant. What are you up to, Liddy? I just happen to be looking for some ribbon. Wait, for the ball. Shall we all look for some ribbon together? <laughs> Good afternoon, Mr. James. Good afternoon, Miss Miss I shan't Good even afternoon. browse. I can't be trusted. I have very poor taste in ribbons. Only a man truly confident of himself would admit to that. No, it's true. And buckles. When it comes to buckles, I'm lost. Dear, oh dear. You must be the shame of the regiment. What laughing stock? What do your superiors do with you? <laughs> Ignore me. I'm of next to no importance, so it's easily done. Lizzie, lend me some money. You already owe me a fortune, Liddy. Allow me to oblige. Oh, no, Mr. Wickham, please. <laughs> I insist. I'm <laughs> pity the French. What are they cooking? So do I. I don't know. Look, Mr. Bingley. Mr. Bingley! I was just on my way to your house. Mr. Bingley, how do you like my ribbons for your ball? <laughs> Very beautiful. She is. Look at her. She's blooming. <laughs> oh, Lydia. Be sure to invite Mr. Wickham. He is a credit to his profession. Lydia, you can't invite people to other people's balls. Of course, you must come, Mr. Wickham. If you'll excuse me, ladies, enjoy the day. Do you plan to go to the Netherfield Ball, then, Mr. Wickham? Perhaps. How long has Mr. Darcy been a guest there? About a month. Hmm. Forgive me, but are you acquainted with him? With Mr. Darcy? Indeed, I've been connected with his family since infancy. You may well be surprised, Miss Elizabeth, especially given our cold greeting this afternoon. Well, I hope that your plans in favour of Meryton will not be affected by your relations with the gentleman. Oh, no, it is not for me to be driven away. If he wishes to avoid seeing me, he must go. Not I. I must ask, Mr. Wickham, what is the manner of your disapproval of Mr. Darcy? My father managed his estate. We grew up together, Darcy and I. His father treated me like a second son, loved me like a son. We were both with him the day he died. With his last breath, his father bequeathed me the rectory in his estate. He knew I had my heart set on joining the church. But Darcy ignored his wishes and gave the living to another man. But why? Jealousy. His father... Well, he loved me better and Darcy couldn't stand it. How cruel. So now I'm a poor foot soldier, too lowly even to be noticed. <laughs> 